do is put your name at the top of this above where it says exponents. I want you guys to think back when we first started working with adding and subtracting exponents and we talked about not exponents, I'm sorry, positives and negative numbers. We talked about positives go to the right or up on a number line, yes? yes. What direction did negatives go? To the left, to the left or down. down? And we used a word with that. We called it the opposite. So when I look here at this problem that's negative 2 to the fourth power, this is how I would write it. That's four twos being multiplied. And I'm going to put them in parentheses to show that those two are two to the fourth power, but they have a negative one in front of them. This is opposite of two to the fourth power. If I did not have a negative in front of that, that would just read two to the fourth power. The only thing different is that there's a negative in front. So it is opposite of two to the fourth power. Thumbs up if that makes sense to you. If two to the fourth power is two times two times two times two, two to the fourth power would be what value? 16, because two times two is four. Four times two is? Eight. Eight times two is? But this is the opposite of that, so our answer is negative 16. For right now, without worrying about what goes in these columns, I want you to put the values down here. Do you think it is a positive or a negative 16? Negative. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask for people to not shout out right now. I'm asking you to look at these and write the value you believe it is, positive or negative 16 for the next three. I'm giving you 30 seconds. I'm going to write the values in and I want you to put a star if you have it right and I want you to put a check if you have it wrong. Hands up high if you have two of those three right. Excellent. Okay, let's take a look at why those are the answers that they are. It's about the parentheses. Can you take a look and see if you notice a pattern with the parentheses? This is our only one that is positive. This is negative two to the fourth power. This would be written as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. In my very visual learning brain, I see this as the negative is trapped inside the parentheses with the 2. Do you guys see what I'm seeing there? The negative is with the two inside the parentheses, so when I multiply them to the fourth power, it's four negatives twos being multiplied. Negative two times negative two is? 
positive 4. Positive 4 times negative 2 is? Negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2 is? Positive 16. Do you see what's happening with the rules there? Where's the negative on this one? It's outside of the parentheses, and so because it's outside, we start off with our meaning as being opposite of 2 to the fourth power. This one is just like the first one. 2 is inside the parentheses being multiplied four times. And that negative 1 is out front just waiting for the parentheses to be finished. This one is slightly different, but it starts out with opposite because where is there a negative? It's outside the parentheses, and there's also a negative inside. inside the parentheses. So this is opposite of negative 2 to the fourth power. This one is really close to the second one. If that negative wasn't there in the front, this would be exactly the same as this, true? Mm -hmm. But instead, because that's there, these two are opposites. When I write the meaning of this though, I'm gonna first show two negative twos inside of, or sorry, four negative twos inside their own parentheses. And then I'm gonna put brackets around that. Brackets are just like, I've got a new parentheses and I wanna make it a little fancier because it's outside of the other parentheses. And this negative one goes in front. With that and these notes, which you cannot lose, I'm gonna collect them at the end because we will later glue them into the notebooks I gave you back in December or November. Okay, so make sure you have your notebook with you tomorrow because we'll be gluing. Right now, open your Chromebook and there is a negative exponent assignment in Agile Mind with exactly four questions that if you use this information, you should be able to do well. But pause, we're gonna put a hint on here first. At the bottom, hint, negative, inside parentheses, equals negative. What's the opposite of that hint? Negative outside parentheses equals opposite. Remember, we multiplied this. We did negative 2 times negative 2 and got positive 4. Then we did positive 4 times negative 2 and we got negative 8. And then negative 8 times negative 2 got us to the positive 16. We didn't ignore these negatives. We used them, right? If they were in there, they were part of that number, and that's a negative 2. If it's outside, it's opposite. So with that, go ahead and open Chromebooks. Get back into Agile Mind. And with our nine minutes left, you're going to try those four problems. When you finish those four problems, you're going to log out of your Chromebook and turn in your Chromebook and this paper because I will save it for you.